What's up guys? Welcome to another Bram Talks on YouTube. Uh, we are live in New York. As you can see behind me, you can see Manhattan. Um, it's been an amazing week. It's actually the third time I'm trying to make a video. First time I think the auto focus was, uh, was incorrect. Second time I had an awesome talk with co-founder of Behance, Matthias Correa, at the awards conference. Unfortunately, I forgot to put the audio on, so we do a third time now. So here is a small recap from, from what I took on the awards call. Chase that line forever. Don't talk at once. So thank you Matthias for your time, um, we had a great conversation, um, you know, the setting, everything was just perfect, unfortunately I forgot to put on the audio, so quickly, where did we talk about, first we talked about, um, you know, how Behance started out, uh, and some, some, you know, advice to the entrepreneurs, you know, the startups, it basically comes down to, you know, take your time, Behance took over six, almost seven years to build and it's not finished yet, it's still ongoing, so take your time, you know, startups or great ideas, whatever, they don't come overnight. So the second thing we talked about was actually a question from Twitter uh, who asked us, um, where do you find your first customers or how do you attract the first customers and get this community grown and uh, he came up with this funny story that he actually asked all his friends you know he was in the creative industry so he asked all his friends to, to you know if he could create their portfolio and put it online to really start the community with good content and um, he, he told me that in the beginning of Behance most people were actually scared to share their work online because they thought like hey people are gonna steal my work I don't want that so it's really it's really nice to get that insight you know pre social media time how things went on and how artists thought about sharing their work online. and the last thing we talked about is about this hot topic that's going on in Belgium at the moment is if you should work for free or not uh, and his opinion is really clear his experience was really bad, you know, he did work for free with the promises to get more exposure and or get paid jobs afterwards. So he was really clear like, nope, don't work for free unless it's like for a, for a project you're really, really passionate about. So, you know, I think we share like this, the same idea behind that, you know, if it's, if it's a client that you would love to work for, yes, you know, if it's from the heart, you could work for free. If not, you know, it's really simple, don't work for free, it's, it's simple. So last week was truly amazing, it was the first time I came to this city. Um, I never expected so much energy in one place, but I can't wait to go back to Antwerp. By the way, I have so much content from the awards conference, I will be sharing this in upcoming videos, I will split it up. Um, one more thing, next week I will be at the Pump Festival in Kortrijk in Belgium. Uh, I will be talking with Musketon, the amazing illustrator from Belgium, and Dan Mumford. So stay tuned and if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.